what's up guys it is Carly here bringing you day number five of my 12 days of Christmas horror and today I'm going to kill two birds with one stone because uh, the movie I'm going to talk about is actually a 2018 horror movie set on Christmas and I do have to you know start watching 2018 movies to prepare for the end of the year and uh, start getting into some of the good stuff and things like that so um, JP had given me a few movies to check out for this year and I don't even think he actually watched this one yet it was just one that he uh, recommended to me because he had heard of it but um, that movie is called Sick for Toys for, from of course 2018 and um, story here is you're mainly following a sister and a brother and um, they kind of Right off the bat, you see that something is off about both of them, and on, honestly, the very first scene shows you that they are up to no good. Um, you don't know exactly what's going on, but by the first scene, you see that they have someone kidnapped, so you know they're not uh, necessarily good people. Um, then you're kind of following this other character named Roy, and he's kind of like a good guy, like gentleman type of dude who, um, you see that he's going on a date with this one girl and she's like really drunk and just not someone that turns out to be his type, so, um, he kind of obviously is a good guy who means well and kind of has bad luck with the ladies is what you just, you get the vibe of, so, um, he meets this girl, the sister character whose name is Amelia, I believe, and, um, they end up meeting because I, I believe she calls him about his brother who was supposed to be going on a date with her or something like that. Um, I forget exactly how it goes down, but uh, he ends up asking her out instead because she sounds like a really nice girl and um, he begins to like her and she invites him out to dinner at her place with, of course, the brother as well and the guy accepts once he gets there he it is shown that uh, they there's something going on that is very strange so um you know that's kind of the idea it's kind of hard to explain the movie really as I said it's not really a spoiler to say that these characters are up to no good because you see that right in the very first scene so um, it's not really giving away anything major it's kind of just really spelled out for you at the very start um, I looked up some other reviews on IMDb just out of curiosity and uh, a lot of people were giving it very harsh reviews saying how the acting was awful and the story was awful and just all this really negative stuff and um, I would not necessarily agree. Um, I was honestly pretty intrigued by this movie throughout. Uh, I really just wanted to see how everything was going to play out and there's just certain aspects to it where you're just wondering what's going on like the brother character um, you know he seems like he's a good bit older than Amelia and um, he's kind of working experimenting with different drugs and stuff like that and you're kind of just curious as to what all he's doing and then um, I did like the Amelia character as well uh, she has a very childish personality um, you know the movie's called Sick for Toys and um, the messed up thing about it is that her toys are basically the guys that she picks up every year. She uh, lures a guy in every year that she kind of likes or is going on a date with or is interested in. And the brother kind of acts like that's her present for Christmas. So um, it's kind of an interesting story. And um, it's just really bizarre because the girl's obviously probably in her late 20s or early 30s. And she has a very childish way of acting. And... Um, I think she pulls it off very well. It's very cringy and awkward at times, and I tend to enjoy movies like that uh, with just uh, sort of moments that make you feel uncomfortable just based on how people are acting and their personalities. Uh, I'm kind of a sucker for that. That just makes me feel very uh, awkward, and um, I think if you can actually pull that off in a movie, then you're doing a pretty good job. Um, I can see what people mean, though, that the acting's a little bit weird and stiff, but I think it was supposed to be like that as well. Um, obviously, the brother has some weird uh, demons that you learn about throughout the movie, and um, the Roy character, uh, he's a little bit odd. Uh, he, um, like I said, he's kind of this nice guy, gentleman type, so I could see his acting's like a little bit off, maybe a little too over the top, but at the same time, I think it kind of works for the bizarrety of the film. Um, 
Yeah, this movie, at first I gave it a pretty high rating when I first watched it, and then the more I thought about it, the more I kind of thought about some of the flaws that it had and some of the sloppiness with the storyline. I think it had a pretty cool story, and it could have been one of those really disturbing and memorable movies, but it also had a few missteps that um, are hard to overlook. I especially really did not like the ending, um, something that they do with one of the characters and uh it just it feels like they're trying to send a message on something that's kind of relevant today and uh, i'm not going to say what it is because that would kind of give away what ends up happening with this character at the end but i just didn't buy it it honestly didn't even make sense i don't think at least i don't think so with all the stuff that goes down i don't think it was really a smart move or anything like that and it honestly just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth for the movie in general. It really just kind of brought it down for me. Um, overall, though, the movie was definitely, like I said, intriguing. It did keep my interest, and I did want to see what was going on. I feel like you don't really get a good wrap-up, though. I think that was the biggest thing that hurt the film, is that the ending just kind of... It feels like it ends, and you kind of have more questions, and you want to see more stuff, and uh, you just don't really get that, so... Originally, I actually gave this movie an 8 out of 10, but I think it's more of a 7 out of 10 when you really just take into account the type of film it is. Um, you know, the I didn't really talk about the Christmas atmosphere, I guess, but uh, it was decent. I mean, the house is all decked out for Christmas. Um, it doesn't really have a huge holiday vibe like some movies do, but it definitely has a Christmas wedged into it throughout, and the whole idea of uh, these dudes being this girl's presents, obviously that fits into the Christmas setting or theme as well, so, um, but yeah, this movie I give a 7 out of 10, I would say maybe check it out for the end of the year, um, it could be a top 10 contender for some people, but, uh, you know, for me, probably not, if I'm being completely honest. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys once again for joining me for day number five of my 12 days of Christmas horror, and I will see you tomorrow for day number six.